Fourier transform of sine function to find the Fourier transform of sine function we will use the Fourier transform of unit impulse function and the duality property and one more property that is frequency shifting property. Now let us see what are these properties. First duality Fourier transform of xt is x omega then Fourier transform of capital XT is 2 pi small x of minus omega or Fourier transform of XT is xf then Fourier transform of capital XT is small x of minus f. Now Fourier transform of del t is 1 then Fourier transform of 1 is 2 pi del of minus omega and del omega is even function so del of minus omega del of minus omega is del omega so Fourier transform of 1 is 2 pi del omega now we will use frequency shifting property if Fourier transform of xt is x omega then Fourier transform of e to the power j omega naught t xt is x capital x omega minus omega naught or Fourier transform of e to the power minus j omega naught t xt is capital x of omega plus omega naught So Fourier transform of del t is 1 and Fourier transform of 1 is 2 pi del omega. Now the Fourier transform of e to the power j omega naught t into 1. Here we can apply the frequency shifting property. The Fourier transform will be now 2 pi del omega minus omega naught. Similarly, we can write the Fourier transform of e to the power minus j omega naught t into 1 by using the frequency shifting property. It is 2 pi del omega plus omega naught. Now, if we have to find the Fourier transform of cos omega naught t, then cos omega naught t can be written as e to the power j omega naught t by 2 plus e to the power j minus j omega naught t by 2. So to find the Fourier transform of cos omega naught t we can use these two transform and by applying the linearity property Fourier, Fourier transform of cos omega naught t will be 1 by 2 into 2 pi del omega minus omega naught plus 1 by 2 2 pi del omega minus plus omega naught or Fourier transform of cos omega naught t is pi del omega minus omega naught plus pi del omega plus omega naught this is the Fourier transform of cos omega naught t. Now we can draw the frequency spectrum of cos omega naught t.
in the frequency spectrum of cosine signal we have two impulses at frequency omega naught and minus omega naught this impulse is pi del omega minus omega naught and uh, this one is pi del omega plus omega naught now to find the Fourier transform of sin omega naught t the sin omega naught t can be written as e to the power j e to the power j omega naught t by 2j minus e to the power minus j omega naught t by 2j now by applying the linearity property we can find the Fourier transform of sin omega naught t Fourier transform of sin omega naught t is 1 by 2 j 2 pi del omega minus omega naught minus 1 by 2 j 2 pi del omega plus omega naught so Fourier transform of sin omega naught t is now mm, minus j pi del omega minus omega naught plus j pi del omega plus omega naught so the spectrum of sin omega naught t has two impulses at omega naught frequency this is minus j pi del omega minus omega naught at minus omega naught frequency it is plus k pi del omega plus omega naught and it is zero otherwise similarly we can find out the Fourier transform of sine functions in terms of f again we will use duality property if Fourier transform of del t is 1 then Fourier transform of 1 is del of minus f or del f because del f is e1 function now according to frequency shifting property the Fourier transform of xt is xf then Fourier transform of e to the power j 2 pi f naught t xt is x f minus f naught and Fourier transform of e to the power minus j 2 pi f naught t xt is x f plus f naught so Fourier transform of 1 is known that is del f this is del f Fourier transform of e to the power j 2 pi f naught t into 1 by frequency shifting property it is del f minus f naught now Fourier transform of e to the power j e to the power minus j 2 pi f naught t into 1 is del f plus f naught so Fourier transform of e to the power j Fourier 
square it on some of e to the power j 2 pi f naught t by 2 plus e to the power minus j 2 pi f naught t by 2 is 1 by 2 del f minus f naught plus 1 by 2 del f plus f naught. So this signal is of 2 pi f naught t. So it's Fourier transform. is 1 by 2 del f minus f naught plus 1 by 2 del f plus f naught. This will be the spectrum of cos 2 pi f naught t. It has two impulses at frequencies f naught and minus f naught and the impulses are 1 by 2 del f minus f naught and 1 by 2 del f plus f naught. Similarly, the Fourier transform of e to the power j 2 pi f naught t by 2 j minus e to the power minus j 2 pi f naught t by 2 j is 1 by 2 j del f minus f naught minus 1 by 2 j del f plus f naught. In time domain, this signal is sine 2 pi f naught t and its Fourier transform is minus j by 2 del f minus f naught plus j by 2 del f plus f naught. This is the Fourier transform of sine 2 pi f naught t and we can draw the frequency spectrum of sine 2 pi f naught t. It has two impulses at frequency f naught. It is negative going impulse and that is minus j by 2 del f minus f naught and mi at minus f naught frequency it is positive positive wing impulse that is j by 2 del f plus f naught and it is 0 otherwise. So this is the Fourier transform of sine function.